Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a crypto portfolio tracker in Google Sheets. Now, I do have two disclaimers here. The first one is if you're not familiar with Google Sheets or Excel, like this might be a little bit technical. Um, by all means, go ahead and ask questions of me in the comment section down below and I'll try and help you out. But yeah, it's a little a little technical. So if you're not familiar with Excel or Google Sheets, you know, be patient with it. The second disclaimer is I'll be using this service over here to help pull in the values of the the cryptocurrency so that way you know I can see if I'm making money or losing money and all that type of stuff but this tool right here it lets you pull 50 five zero uh, times a day uh, of crypto prices so if you're pulling more than 50 times a day or 50 prices a day you're gonna need to upgrade to their paid plan which is ten dollars a month so I just want to put that out there if you're doing a lot of research or pulling pulling prices for a lot of tokens like you might have to upgrade to the paid plan so I don't you being surprised if you got to pay money like I'm not charging you any money for this video and my spreadsheet over here is completely free link in the description down below but again if you're pulling lots of data you might need to upgrade to the paid plan if you want to of course but other than that yeah the spreadsheet and everything else is free so let's go ahead and get into it now so first things first link in the description down below if you want this spreadsheet but you got to go ahead and make a copy of it on your google drive don't try and access mine or edit mine i'm not going to give you permission to edit mine you got to make a copy on your drive so you come up here to file and you do make a copy and then you make a copy of it on your drive so you can go ahead and name it whatever you want you can go ahead and place it wherever you want inside of your drive so you can go to my drive you can create a new folder crypto stuff and that's cool so i put it in this folder select and okay so now it's making a copy of the file on my google drive so now i can go ahead and edit it and do whatever the heck i want to do with it so there we go and i might as well close this other one so i don't try and mess with it okay so this one's mine and i can do whatever i want so the first things first i recommend going and installing the this tool right here crypto finance so that way we can start pulling in prices um, of our cryptocurrency so we'll do install crypto finance and it gives us instructions here so we'll just follow the instructions and you can follow along and or read the website so basically i got to go to tools and script editor so we'll go to tools and script editor and it'll pop up our little script editor here and then i want to go ahead and hit files and i want to go ahead and add it and do script right here and I'll go ahead and call it crypto crypto finance and th this is in the instructions over here so it says you know call it crypto finance in the script editor and we got to copy the content of this file here so I'm going to pop this open and links to this website in the description below as well so I, I, did, I didn't want to include it uh, with this file in case they they make updates to it or something to that effect but we'll go ahead and copy it all and paste it on in here and then I want to come up here and hit save and so there we go it's saved cryptofinance.gs and I can go ahead and close out of here now and then I can come back over to my portfolio and then what we want to go ahead and do is refresh this entire window so go ahead and refresh it real quick and we should see a option pop up here and so after refreshing the browser, you should see an option for crypto finance. Uh, it might, if it doesn't pop up right away, go ahead and refresh again or wait a minute or two. It might take a second for things to, you know, boot in basically, but eventually it should pop up here. And you might also have your prices update. So you might have noticed that it said like uh, notice or disclaimer or warning or there, there is some message in this field. But now it's showing us the prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if you see crypto finance up here and these prices are showing now, then it's you probably did it correctly okay so so thumbs up to you and so now that we have the crypto finance tool installed let's get into the spreadsheet here so it's pretty simple hopefully to understand basically there's two tabs right here we have the summary tab which we're on right now and basically it gives us you know our summary of the tokens that we have so bitcoin number of coins purchased how much we've spent on all the tokens so it gives us our cost basis then so then we can know you know if we're in the green or we're in the red the current price of the coin, the percent change, so we know how much you know our tokens have gone up in value or down in value, like down in value over here. Our current holdings, so how much US dollars we actually have 
uh, in our cryptocurrency, our profit and loss, and then a current multiple. So basically, you know, our based off a of cost basis times 6.41 equals our current price. And then I just have a notes section over here. And basically I'm trying to remember where the heck I'm storing on my cryptocurrency. So in my notes, I'm putting, you know, where my tokens are stored. Of course, do whatever you want. This is your spreadsheet. Um, also on my spreadsheet, I've gone ahead and like added conditional formatting. So if my multiple is over five, well, that's like a, a sell signal to me that I need to sell some of my crypto because I, I made a 5x return on it. So I, I color code mine with conditional formatting. And so if you're familiar with uh, Google Sheets or Excel, you can do all this type of stuff and, you know, do what makes sense for you, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and set this up greater than, we'll do 5, and then I'll hit done here. And so there we go. So if it's greater than five, it goes ahead and highlights for me and I can quickly know, you know, what, what the heck to do. So all the data on this particular, so all the data on this summary tab here is automatically populated. So a lot of the information comes from the purchases tab over here. And then the current price tab comes from uh, the crypto finance plugin. And also we could go ahead and import and I'll, I'll talk to you this about this in just a second here. But basically everything on this summary tab is automatically populated and you should not be going in here and typing things in um, unless you want to, it's your spreadsheet. But the information comes from this purchases tab and you know what, it should probably be purchases and sales because we're it includes both. You'd want to include your buys and your sales, sales, purchases, sales, but it should be hopefully pretty self-explanatory here. So every time you buy or you sell a token, you come over here and you submit it or enter it under the form. So let's say, what is it? 3, 19, 20, 21. It is 16, 47 and then in the afternoon. And let's say I'm buying some Bitcoin. Actually, let's do a different token here. So let's say I'm doing Celsius token. And let's say I buy a thousand Celsius tokens and I spend $5,000 on it. And so my cost per token is simply how much I spent divided by how many tokens that I purchased. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy that formula and bring it down here. And then the exchange, so where I bought it from. So we'll say Uniswap here. And I'll just say this is my initial buy. So pretty self-explanatory stuff, but it gives us enough information to make good decisions. So let's come back over to the summary tab. And we know that we don't have our sell token over here yet. So let's go ahead and insert a, a row here. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in sell. And then coins purchased. The, the best option here is just to copy my formulas that I already have. So I'll paste it in here. And then USD spent, paste that in there. Cost basis, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there. Current price. So here's two different options for generating the current price. The first option is to use the crypto finance. So this is that tool that we installed earlier was the crypto finance. And this is the recommended way to do it because it's faster and um, it doesn't have as many errors. So I recommend using the crypto finance tool as much as possible. But if you aren't able to use it, like for example, some alt tokens or altcoins aren't able to be found using the crypto finance tool. So for example, Matic here and UMB, for, for whatever reason, they're not on the, the crypto finance tool. So we have to use another method and that's to use the import XML function here. And so hopefully this makes some sense or it's pretty self-explanatory, but basically you're going to copy and paste the URL of the token on CoinMarketCap right in this field, okay? That's all you would have to do. So for this sell token, I'm gonna do it both ways so you can kind of see how it works. So first way, preferred way is crypto finance. So we're gonna come down here and just paste it in there and it's gonna load and we see that it found the current price. So I would leave it at that, okay? It found the price, that means that it's in that crypto finance app and, and we're good to go with our pricing. But if a price doesn't show up here, like it's just a bar or an error message or something like that, that means it's not in the crypto finance app. So what you'd wanna do then is grab this formula right here and we'll paste it on down here and we need to go ahead and find the coin market cap link for the Celsius token then. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll go to coin market cap and find the Celsius token. So we'll come on down here, I think it's in the 50s. And so here it is down here at 74. So I'm gonna click into here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL, come back here, and then I'll just swap out this link right here. And then I can go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna go scrape the price off of coinmarketcap.com. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, okay? The, the whole scraping off of coinmarketcap.com is like a 50-50 
percent chance that it works. So you might get error messages sometimes when you're doing the scraping method, which is why I recommend as much as possible, use this tool here, the crypto finance tool, because it's faster, more accurate, and less prone to errors. So anyway, these next columns, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy them real quick and paste them on in here, and it'll automatically do all the calculations and math for me. And then I need to go ahead and probably adjust these total columns and make sure that I extend them all the way down. So let's go ahead and do that real quick to the G7 or the row seven there, and it'll automatically update the profit and loss as well as the, the percent return of my total portfolio down here. And so for example, let's say I make another purchase over here and we'll just say 319, 2021, and it's 1654. And you can put whatever timestamp you want in here. You don't have to do military time or anything like that or UTC time or whatever. You can do however you want, whatever helps you keep track of it. The main thing is to make sure that your coin, your symbol here matches what you have on your summary tab because that's how it kind of connects things together is whatever your symbol is, is how things are matched up. And so let's go ahead and throw Bitcoin in here, Bitcoin. And let's say that I bought one Bitcoin for about $58,000. So my cost per coin, we can do that simple math right there. Let's say I bought it on Voyager and regular buy. All right, cool. So then if I come over here, we can see that it automatically updated the number of coins that I purchased to one and we can see how much I've spent, my cost basis, current price, percent change, current holdings, profit and loss, current multiple, etc. Now, if I wanna go ahead and force these prices to update, you can come up here and you tick this box here and it'll automatically go back out there and grab the, the latest price available for the token. And then if you uncheck it, it'll do it again. So that's kind of how you toggle to force it to go check and not check. And again, you only get 50 free ones a day unless you upgrade to the paid plan and then you get like 20,000 or something like that. So be careful toggling this back and forth because you might use up all 50 of your free price pools. But yeah, so that's pretty much how it all works. Of course, you can get fancy with it and add some graphs and charts and do whatever the heck you want to do. But for the, for the basics, that's how it works. Hopefully you found this video helpful or interesting. Again, links in the description for the spreadsheet and everything else. So if you have any questions as well, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. And also make sure that it's me replying. I will never ask you for Bitcoin. I'm never gonna give you my phone number or my WhatsApp. I don't wanna talk to you at all. And I don't want your Bitcoin or I'm not gonna give you extra Bitcoin. So don't, so be mindful of scammers in the comment section. It should have a little black box if I'm replying to you. But anyway, have a great rest of the day.